yeah. is going to work on Hanskin. This looks to be our first blood. It will be claimed by Gabby. And I mean, Nature's Prophet is very annoying to late against. Really good attack animation, good base damage, long range, and you've got the Blightstone. You've got the, you know, Treant harass as well to mess with creep waves, and they might even be going for oh, 33 man. here too. He's got to be careful. As far as heroes to lane with that benefit from the Blightstone, PA has to be probably one of the best. The oh. dagger. And, and he gets right some clicks. good body blocks here. Tim's is thinking about this chase. Looking for that first kill here on KP with the rotation. Should be able to get it. One more auto attack. They're also going to try to get March, but he skewers away. Dies mid skewer. So they make it a two hero Ooh. kill. Big rotation. That's about a 1k cut in the gold. Yeah. Pulling down momentarily. They can just keep on chasing him. Slowly whittle him down. The blink strike forward. Phantom strike, I should say. And the kill there. Meanwhile. Twin-headed dragon finished off up top. They get the Jakiro kill. And Armel's hunting for more. Torrent just a bit off the mark. Did commit the boat earlier, but the cleave could be a problem. Tim's has joined the fray. They want to keep the pressure up on this void lane. Don't give him any free CS, but Tim's is isolated. He's behind the tower. He goes for the TP. Oh, Nico baby bash. gets the insta bash. <laughs> See you later, alligator. Now Armel may die. This is an overextension by TNC. Tim's is still juking. They're going to lose the Kunkka. Tim's, well, he's he's trying to juke, but he doesn't have a TP for 25 seconds, so I do not see him getting nice. out of this one. Oh, bash kill. Oh, the tree antonized one, and now the fight breaking out at the top bounty rune. Kunkka coming through with the boat. Doesn't have the damage to kill Afana just yet, though, and the Chrono comes mid-swing. Not dead yet. Can Fada make it out? The bash, the ice path. They do lose the Jakiro, the skewer back by March. Turning things around a little bit, but there's the Lina stun. Follow up on the March. They get the kill. Alliance chasing for more now. KP's got to back away. He will secure the bounty rune. Uh, it's an amazing PA game because you have Magnus. doesn't really matter what heroes in the other team. When you have Magnus, it's always a good PA game. Okay. Simple enough. <laughs> it, it just means you can you have this free farming item. You don't need to go Battle Fury, nor do you ne normally want to go Battle Fury. Has an RP, has no mana. He's got Desso. Vision's there. The Treants are there. They're converging, and 33... While this was happening, found a kill down bottom. Will they get the handskin oh, take Oh, he didn't blink in. Oh, nice bait. The handskin was trying to time it just right. Now the dagger and the kill. 413 damage. A blink forward on Fada and another quick takedown. Along with the tower. Looks like Alliance will get a tier one bottom, but you'd rather up the mid. Gabby was very smart there. He had vision, could have just gone for a blink strike in, but the Winter's Curse, if he blinks in that Winter's Curse, he kills his teammate. So that's. Here comes the boat. Here comes the X. They found the Wyvern, and they smack him in the face. Quick take down there. He's going to start making his way over, but this Roche is melting. Four bounty runes for Alliance. Very, Aren't you in trouble. Very early in the game. RP, Skewer. Okay. Can they bring down 33? Are they in range here? Oh, that PA damage, oh baby. Um, Gabby's feeling it right now. They're gonna lose the Kunkka, it looks. He I took the wrong off. path. Yep. He will pay. <laughs> Head skins, goodbye, sir, goodbye. And now the NP TP's in. However, he is not as tanky. Uh, Tim's gotta be careful. Man, not <laughs> careful enough. Tim's right. is dead, now they're gonna chase Gabby. Gabby. They get the bash, they get the silence. He needs to follow up, they're gonna try to hold the chrono for round two, and they will be successful. KP staying there for the blink out. Can they kill him a second time? It looks like it. Chrono drop, they grab two for the price of one. Armel all chatting. Gabby dead. Oh Big overextension by TNC. That's four. Back. It's gonna be five. They got the bounty roots too. And KP's done for. They Played that fight. Dota, Dota's a game of highs Ooh. and lows, gods. You know, we said roller coaster quicker with the reactions. They get him with the X initially. Dagger coming through. Torrent as well. Big crit in your face. See you later. Gabby brings him down. Now oh. the RP. March, he catches up too. He's got almost no mobility, but doesn't need it. What a play by March. Yeah, he gets the tip for that one. That was nice. Man, not often you see a Magnus with no blink set up a great follow-up yeah. like that. I think they, they thought they were safe because he looked like he was going to RP like the Night Stalker or something, and then suddenly he's like, oh, wait, I found a, a better target. These two supports, the Winter Wyvern particularly. This ward now yeah. moving into position. Bounty runes are spawning. He's going to X him back. Boat coming through. Oh, x a bit uh, early, it looks like. 33, just going to start running away. Doesn't have the TP. Already tried to use it. Now gonna avoid a creep, just stall, waste as much time as possible. 
Tibbs is coming. This is going to be a long and slow kill with our Mal lacking mana. Right. If they even get it, I they're going to rotate in Gabby as well. So that should be enough to secure it. But it's a, a space created kind of kill. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Come yeah. on, guys. All right. <laughs> they get the crit. Just need another dagger and a blink. And the deed is done. Oh, uh, March just TP'd out, He's but if there's up. an X, they'll be bringing him back soon. KP, not the easiest here to go on with the pipe. He'll commit it early. Dying Got it on Armel. They get the silence of March. They get the Chrono on two. Very nicely done, keeping this Magnus out of the fight, but PA joins late, and they don't have a whole lot of control for Oh, wait, yes, they do. They get the Winter's Curse. March is alive. Gabby can engage with the RP. They get another. Gabby's running down Gabby. 33, now chasing for Hanskin. The Sprout is there. Nico Baby could be in a lot of trouble. Phantom Strike available. Winter oh, Wyvern down. And they're going to find Lip too. It's going to be four heroes. The buyback comes through on the Wyvern. He may die again if he's not careful. No crit this time. But Gabby's diving deeper. He's committing on an Nico Baby. A thousand damage with that crit. Keeps on chasing. Keeps on diving. Give me a crit. Give me a crit. There's your crit, gets the kill, oh. gets another, and it might be another! Night Stalker about to fall, Cabby slices them all to bits. That's three buybacks in this fight, and they're still going to lose it. Gabby knew that Wyvern buying back there was exposed, didn't have the Winter's Curse. He was just willing to dive the enemy base because he held on his BKB so long. It was such good discipline. Gabby could have BKB'd right at the start of that fight. It might have helped out like his Magnus who died in the Winter's Curse, but ultimately the fact he held onto that BKB allowed him to just crush this fight. And TNC will get Rax as a result, looking like it'll, they'll get multiple lanes as well. well. TNC with the rotation towards mid, they can see that top six finish just over the horizon, an alliance with no Chrono. How do they defend? They'll need a godly Winter's Curse. I'm not even sure if that will be enough. No, I don't think it's happening. TNC, the way they've won, too, with unconventional drafts. You know, some things we've seen from other teams, but also very much, you know, pushing the boundaries, finding counters to the Night Stalker, showing that, you know, you don't have to stick with the quote-unquote meta picks to win. Yep. Oh, the positioning here is so tough to fight into. It's going to be Kunkka who goes in first. Glimmer Cape, jump away, Magnus RP. Waiting for it. He oh, gets Magnus. stunned off the bat. He gets Laguna off the bat, and he is done for it. But the boat comes in. Gabby engaging, backing out, playing it safe, looking for those insta kills. Doesn't get Fada. Jukes away from the Lena stun. The moves by Gabby. Gets one, gets two. Now looking for 33. No Wyvern buyback. No Jakiro buyback. 33 is isolated. Stalls <laughs> spamming the RP. It's a light show for TNC. I don't know how you fight now, gods. They have they have the chrono, they have the BKB on Void, but they need to like steal Aegis. They're going for it. Somehow it's get multiple Armel's kills. Armel's gonna scout him. Oh, they're ready for this though. Void jumping one way. RP there to greet him. March held onto it. Crit, crit, see you later. Now for the Lena. It's gonna be a full five man G -G. wipe. No, Alliance <laughs> TPing out, GGing out, denying that full team wipe at least, but TNC, man, what a team. That, those game two and three, that's what people have been seeing from TNC.